So whenever a user enter the OTP, I want this text to change to the verify and uh, user can click on that button and it will start the verification process. So to do that, come to this on code send here and in the next button, I want to set the text as verify and I also want to set the set enable to false because I don't want to be I don't want user to be able to click on that button whenever this uh, verification is in the process okay let's run this app and see what changes that I have made here okay I'll enter some number click on next it will display that progress bar you can see it is displaying the verify I want this button to be able to do multiple things so to do that it is not possible without using any flag okay so I'm gonna use one flag that is boolean value true or false so let me create one flag here I'm gonna check if verification is in progress or not so initially no verification is in progress so I want to set this as false okay so I need to check this condition here on the on click so if the verification is false right then if verification is not in the progress I want user to be able to request the OTP here verification is not in progress then we'll let the user to enter the number and send the OTP and as soon as the user is able to send the OTP using his number I will uh, set this verification progress value to false sorry true because now we have actually started the verification progress for the user's number here if verification is not in progress then we are letting the user request the OTP but if this in progress that means user is entering the OTP and we will verify that instead of setting this verification in progress equals to true here actually I, I will set that inside this request OTP function where we have actually sent the code okay so when the code is sent our actual our verification progress actually start here so I'm gonna set this verification in progress here okay so in this way we can identify what kind of process is going on right now in this else block I will be getting the OTP from the user I will create the phone credential for the user when this block is executed I want to extract the OTP entered by the user so that is entered in the enter OTP edit text field so I want to get that value actually I will save that into the one variable called OTP that I want to create here or you know what I'll just create the one string inside this user OTP and I will get the OTP from the user so user is going to type that so code enter get text that I will convert that text to the string and now I want to perform few checks user OTP that is not empty okay so I'll just put not here if the OTP is not empty if the field is empty I will display some error that is code enter dot set error and we'll display valid OTP is required and also that we have the limitation that our OTP should be of length 6 so it can't be less than 6 it can be more than 6 so I will also check that condition here user entered OTP should be of length 6 okay so length should be 6 if this both condition is true we will create the credentials for the user and we are going to verify the user now I will use the verification ID that we have saved in into the verification ID variable and this OTP entered by the user to create the phone credential okay so I will use the class name phone credential phone auth credential and I'll create the credential equals to we need to use phone auth provider for this dot grid get credential and inside this we need to pass two parameter first is verification ID and second is the OTP entered by the user so it is user OTP okay 
now by the by combining this both field firebase will create the credential for us using this credential we can sign in the user to the firebase account and if the otp is incorrect then it is going to give some error if otp is correct and the verification id and otp is matching then it is going to authenticate the user to our application okay i'm going to use one method to verify the user so i'll create one custom method verify auth and i will pass the credential that we have created here this uh, method do not exist right now so i'm going to create it inside the java file here and now i can actually use this credential to verify the user so by using the firebase authent uh, authentication instance that is f auth now i can use sign in with credential method of this firebase auth instance and inside this i need to pass the credential that we have created using the verification id and the otp so i'll pass that now i will call the callbacks to check if the task is successful or not so i will add on complete listener to this and we will check if the task is successful or not so new on complete listener i close this so inside this i can check if the task is successful or not so if the otp is verified by the server then task is successful and if not then it will return the false if i check if the task is successful okay so if task is successful then i will display some message to the user saying that authentication is successful if not otherwise we will notified the user that authentication has failed and later in the video we will handle this by um, returning the user to the login screen and in if the task is successful we will redirect the user to the main activity or details activity where we will get the data from the user okay so for now i will display the message authentication failed okay so this is a simple ways how we can handle the verification of the otp so i will run this app and we will check if this logic is correctly working or not okay the app is running now and now i'm going to paste the number that i have created the test number the otp is sent but i already know the otp so i will add that that is 654987 and now i'll click on verify and it should display this one of this message if the verification is successful or failed but based on our otp it should display verification is successful okay so click on this okay now if i click on verify it displays the authentication is successful okay so uh, now if i go to the firebase console if i go to the users it should display the new users new user is created and a creation date is displayed here and user id is displayed so this is how we create the new user using the otp but we still have so many things to handle in our app so this is the initial things that we got working whenever the new user is created i want to send the user to the details page where they can enter the details of themselves for the profile and uh, if the user is i mean already exist and they have the profile data already entered i want to send them to the main activity directly without asking them to enter the user each time they log in okay we will handle that in here okay once the user is created but for now i'm going to go ahead and create the new activity for the details that we need from the user so whenever the new user is created as i said we will send them to the new details page so i'm going to create new empty activity and i will say details or i'll say add details so this is the add details activity so click on finish so let me go to the xml file here and i will design the simple interface to enter the data 
I will provide the source code for this XML file in the description. You can copy and paste from there. Okay, so this is the layout that we are going to use for the user to add the details. You can see the first name, last name and email address. And we have one button to save the data. So when the user click on save button, we are going to insert this data to the Firestore database. I also want to display some icons um, before this first name and last name. So here uh, I have used this drawable left uh, properties for this, but you can see these uh, icons are not present yet. So I'm going to go here in the drawable folder and I'm going to create that icons for this project. So to create new icon, you go to the new and in the vector asset, click on this icon and you will be presented with a lot of icon here that is built into the Android studio and you can select. So first one is for phone. So I will select the phone. So this is the phone and I will let this color to be black. But if you want to change, you can change it. Click on next and click on finished. Similarly, I will create this for the person and uh, email address and so on. Okay. So just like that. So these are the icon that I want you to use here and uh, each, each and every one of these component is having its own ID. For first name, we have first name as ID, second is last name and for email address, we have this email address. Okay. So uh, in the registered Java file, what I want to do is whenever the uh, user is successfully authenticated, I will check the user is already present or not in the Fire, Firestore database. So if the user is newly created, we will not have any record of that particular user in the Firestore database. Now we will connect the Firestore database to our application and we are going to insert the data of this user to the Firestore database. And after that, we will come back here and check if the user is present or not. If the user is not present in the Firestore database, we will display these add details to him. Otherwise, we will redirect him to the main activity. So to connect the Firestore database to our application, you know the process just go to the Firestore Firebase here and if you scroll down to the end of this you can see this Firestore option here and click on this read and write the Firestore and document to the cloud Firestore and here we need to connect to the Firebase but uh, it is asking me to connect my account but yours might be showing the connected message there so I'm going to connect real quick. Okay, it says I have already connected. So I'm going to sync my Firebase to this app. Okay, now it displays the connected message. So click on add cloud Firestore to your app. It will ask to accept the changes. Click on accept changes. It is going to add the Firestore database to our application. Once the Gradle sync is finished. Okay, the Firestore app database is added to our project now. Now we can actually start using the Firestore database. But before that, I want to make this uh, details form working. Okay, so in the add details, I will create the required uh, variables for this edit text. Edit text, we need it for first name. Now I'm going to assign these uh, resources to these variables. So first name, okay, now uh, we also have one button here. If you go here, it says save button. So I'll create one variable for the button as well. I'll allocate the resources for this button as well. Now, whenever the save button is clicked, I want to validate the data in the edit text field. Uh, once the button is clicked, save button is clicked. So we can check that by using set on click listener. Set on click listener. New on click listener. 
and on click I'm gonna extract the data from the first name last name and email and I'm gonna validate that they are valid data they are not empty so we can do that by using the same idea that we have used before so if first name dot get text the two string is not empty okay first name last name and email 